This lesson is about perimeter. We're going to be doing a definition sprinkled into this whole thing, but perimeter basically is the distance around an object. And let's talk about different types of objects. The first one is a polygon, and it's a figure connected by straight lines. So, for example, you can just draw whatever you want as long as it's connected by straight lines. A regular polygon is a polygon that has all sides of equal measure. The perimeter, again, is the distance around a polygon. And basically, you're just going to add the lengths of the sides up. These are some formulas that will be on your formula sheet. The perimeter of a rectangle is 2L plus 2W, which you probably get because there's two L's and two W's really adding the sides. Sometimes I don't even use the formula. I just add up all the sides I write down. And the perimeter of a square is four times the length of the side because in a square, all sides are the same. So there's four sides. The diameter of a circle is a straight line that passes through the center of the circle. The radius is the distance from the center to the circle to a point on the circle. The circumference is the distance around a circle and this is the formula or the formula. Um, you don't have to memorize these formulas, they're on your formula sheet. But a way to remember circumference, which is the distance around, or you can think of it as the perimeter of a circle, is cherry pie is delicious. Cool? And then pi is the ratio of the circumference of the circle to the diameter. And there's two approximations that we're going to be using, 3.14 and 22 over 7s. Pi is an irrational number. It goes on forever and ever without any kind of pattern or repeating. So these two approximations are fairly decent for pi. If I tell you to use one of those, you need to use it because if you just use the pi button on your calculator, you'll get a slightly different result. And if you put it into the computer like that, it's going to mark it wrong. So pay attention to the approximations that either I tell you to use or the program tells you to use. Now, let's just do some examples. So we want to find the perimeter of the rectangle. And it's really super important to label your answer. So let's do this one in blue. This is going to also be 8 centimeters, and this will be 3 centimeters. So if we add the sides, it will be 8 plus 3 plus 8 plus 3, or 2 times 8 plus 2 times 3. If we do that, we get 22. 22 what? Centimeters. So there's my perimeter. Find the perimeter of the triangle. We're just going to add up all the sides. 18, 18, and 14. So 8 and 8 is 16, and 4 is 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 50 centimeters. Good. Next. Let's take a look at this. This is called a parallelogram. Opposite sides are parallel and they're also equal. So this side will be 3.3, this side will be 3.6, and this time it's meters. I'm going to add everything up. So 6 and 6 is 12. 12 and 6 is 18. 3, 6, 9, 12, 13, point 8. And this time my answer is in meters. Find the perimeter of the compound figure. Alright, so here's the deal. We don't know um, 
some of the sides. So if we think about it, we are going to realize that this side is 11, so the opposite side is also 11. Good. And we are going to be walking around. This side is 8, so this side will also have to be 8. Now, we just need this length that we don't know. And if you think about it, from here to here is 15, from here to here is 16, and from here to here is 10, looking above. Cute? All right. Now all we have to do is add up all of the sides, and I will try to make sure that I add it up correctly. So, so when we add the sides up, we will get 15 plus 8 plus 16 plus 8 plus 10 plus 11 plus 10 plus 16 plus 15 plus 11. So when we do that, we add it up, we get 120 kilometers. I started from here and I walked all around the figure. So, let's look at the next. A rectangular room measures 17 by 15. Well, 17 feet by 15 feet. The cost of installing a strip of wallpaper. So we're going to go around the object, around the room. If the wallpaper costs 98 cents a foot, find the total cost. So first we need to get the perimeter, which will be two seventeens, right? Plus two fifteens. So that would be 64 feet around the object. And then to get the cost, we're going to have to multiply 64 feet times 0.98, because that's the cost per foot. So that is equal to... So the result is $62.72. Next. Now we're going to talk about the circumference of a circle. When we're talking about exact circumference, that means you're going to leave pi in. Okay, so here we go. Circumference is pi times the diameter, in this case, is 73 feet. So the circumference that is exact is 73 with a pi after it, feet. Done. Now, in number seven, we're going to find the approximate circumference. So that means you're going to put the number in for pi that I tell you to use. So here we go. Well, for this, we have the radius is eight miles. That means the diameter, if I think about it, I'm going another eight miles. So the diameter is 16 miles. Therefore, the circumference, which the formula is pi times the diameter, will be pi times 16 miles. So I asked you to use 3.14. 16 pi, you guys, I jumped a little bit, is the exact answer. 16 pi miles is exact, but I want to do the approximate. That means I'm going to put 3.14 in for pi. So I'm going to go approximate. The little squiggly equal signs means approximate. And now I'm just going to use my calculator to multiply that out. So I get 50.24 miles across as an approximation to the circumference. Now you can do the assignment associated with this lesson. Keep on trucking.